it starts. Hello, everybody. We are here to talk about online survival for episode five. No Aspen this week. She's DJing. So Susan, you might, if you're watching, you might not have as harsh of a week as last week, but we'll see what the other three have to say. How are y'all doing? Doing good. I'm missing Survivor for this. So <laughs> yeah, you're killing me guy. here. Like normally, I'd be. I know. Survivor I know. Next myself. week, I'm gonna try and do this. Uh, whatever, whatever time the Survivor ends, there I for keep forgetting. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah. yeah. We're like all on different time zones. Yeah. I just try to watch with commercials or without commercials or whatever. Oh no, so, your your camera's gone again. No, oh. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Don't scare us like that, Mike. <laughs> I was turning my brightness up so I could be seen and see. So I'm going to ask everybody for their ups and downs this week, but I'm not going to have them tell me why, because we're going to talk about everybody going into the merge. But who wants to give me their up first? I have Tabitha, Riazzo, and Ashley up. Interesting. Uh, I have Riazzo and Susan up. I also have Riazzo and Susan up. And Rita. Rita's up. And not just because she called me out by me not liking her. But right now, Aspen just got chills. For some, she doesn't know why. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> exactly. How about your downs? I have Dom, Emily, and Susan. <laughs> I have Emily. I have Emily and Tabitha. Tangerine, whatever. Tangerine! <laughs> Well, let's go through everybody since we're starting a whole new game at the merge. It is now an individual game. So I want to go everybody individually and how you all think they're doing, what you think they need to change or what they need to do. Obviously, we should start with Darstar, who I think we all know what he should have done. But how did you all feel about Darstar's play in this episode? I mean, genuinely, I don't know what he, he could have done this episode, really. Um... Well, besides play as idol. Right? The idol. Besides play as idol, um, which was it was a pretty bad mistake. But like, honestly, even if he does that, he's probably still cooked. Like, just um, he threw his lot in essentially with the not the house, the island pariah. So kind of having a, a tough go of it, no matter what he, what he really did here. That's fair. Meg, do you think he could have done anything differently this week other than play his idol? Yeah, I mean, he could have played his idol, but I don't think that he had a super great read on the game, so why would he play his idol? Um, but, I mean, the rest of them just played it well enough that there's – I don't think there's any way that he would have realized that they were all – I didn't realize that Dom was even, like, on the train to vote out Dar and – he seemed to know where the votes were landing. Maybe I missed that. I watched most of the episodes sitting in line in the carpool, so I couldn't take any notes. <laughs> I think the fact that he clocked that Muggsy might be someone he needs to let go, and then when she wins immunity, like, what? why did that line of thinking not continue, right? Like, he knew that there was it was going to be dangerous to have her around for his game. So when she's safe, what like what was he thinking what was gonna happen? That everyone's gonna listen to him and do Tabitha? It it's a little bit it's a little bit I I feel like just because you don't have a good read on the house, you still made an accurate read earlier. Like why did it change when Mugsy wins immunity? Why did you suddenly think that you're in the fold fully, right? So I I feel like he could have at least played it and just see what happens. Like sure you might be still a sinking ship, but one like being safe for one vote is all you need to do in these games. Anything can happen in the next round, you know? He didn't even push Tabitha that hard. He just exactly. like, kind of mentioned it. And there were, even in conversations he was in, there was also Emily's name was thrown out and Susan's Susan. name was thrown out. And he was just like giggling. Yeah. yeah. It's classic tunnel vision when you see your only your conversations and you fail to think fully through what everyone else is, is talking about and, and doing. And also let's 
to be fair to him, think of the last time that he got to go to a tribal. I'm pretty sure that was the round that we were all like, Dark Star's up. Dark Star's doing awesome. Yes. And then he's. it's been like two or three wins since then. And so, like, I can't blame him for feeling safe. I really can't, honestly. That's fair. Do you all think it was that conversation with Riazzo and Dom that made him feel too safe to not play his idol? Mm-hmm. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Silly goose. Well, we will talk about Dom next, who was the top player in the challenge. How do you feel Dom came into the merge? I'm a little disappointed. It kind of feels like he's gone right back into, you know, we are legends final. What is it now? Five of them left final five. Like he, he just seems to want to stick with these same people, even really even Susan for the most part, like, he seems, I don't know, to be doing the same thing he was doing two rounds ago, which didn't mm. work out for him. Yeah, I have him down because I just don't really, I mean, he did well in the challenge. I would have smoked that challenge, by the way. I was playing along and I would have done great. I think I did really good in the one that I played um, in one of my seasons. But um, he's he's his game is not growing, in my opinion. And he was on the wrong side of the vote and while they think everybody's going to be mad at Susan for flipping I mean Ashley did what Ashley does and she explained it away so well that uh, I think Dom is coming in not looking so hot um to everybody but Rita Rita seems like pretty still set on going after Susan for getting rid of Jason um but yeah, I mean, I just don't think he's growing, and obviously people don't find him very trustworthy, and he, I I don't know. I think he could have explained to Susan a little bit more, like, what he was thinking, like, tried to save that a little bit, and you didn't even really see him have any type of conversation with her about how the vote went. That was the biggest miss. Build, rebuild or build that bond if you plan to stick with your original tribe. I'm not saying that that alone is a bad strategy. I'm saying the way that he went about it was unimpressive. Yeah. I actually think that he played it, I don't know if it's intentional, but I actually think he played the merge better than one would. I think someone who gets blindsided right before the merge could definitely go in guns blazing and like get super paranoid and think that, you know, they're in danger and like that they need to do a lot more. Right. And I think his level of like not playing is actually what's going to bring him further, not by like his gameplay, but more so because everyone else is so hot right now that I think that he actually could squeeze by a little bit. I don't think he's a winner, but I do think that this wasn't the worst episode for his type of game. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't see it as the biggest negative that he's, kind of sticking with his original people, right? Like Rita and Emily probably do still find him more trustworthy than anyone else would because he only knows Rita, Emily, Riazzo, Susan, and then the two girls who flipped on him. So he doesn't know Tabitha. Like, you know, that would be a relationship that needs to be built on. Um, so we'll see what happens with Dom. But I, I don't – I mean, I agree with you guys. I don't think he's doing a great job building his game. But I also think he's actually going to, like, survive a little bit more. I mean, I think that he's banking too much on these connections that he has yeah. from We Are Legends that may or may not really s solidly be there, right? Yeah. And I think he's underestimating the power of Ashley, Susan, and Mary. That's also true. Yeah. Next, we will move on to Muggsy. How did Muggsy <laughs> perform in this episode? <laughs> She performed consistently to how she's performed in the past. <laughs> um, you know, that's why I don't put her as down because, like, she hasn't, nothing's changed. Um, this, if anything, is a wake up call, maybe. Um, and I, I do think that it is a lot easier to sell that there are bigger targets when you're alone than when you are in a duo and everybody saw Dark Star and Muggsy as a duo. Winning Miss Immunity was the best thing for Muggsy's game. And if there is a chance of Muggsy making it any further than next episode, um, it, it was because Dark Star got voted out here. 
she's an easy out at this point. She has no, literally not one person in her corner unless she can try to, well, we did see some, you know, coming up next week, maybe Riazzo can jump in with her and cause some havoc. But I am just like, I'm not here for the name calling. Now it's like, not we're calling people douchebags and it's just like, I don't know. I, she gives me Patty vibes. <laughs> you just you have you have PTSD from, from dealing with Patty. I mean, she's I not just don't I don't have like a space for people that are just outwardly rude to other people for literally no reason. Like I understand in the game we might like have our back and forth. I'm not saying that I've never like gotten into it with any of you inside a game, but I <laughs> I mean calling people bitches and douchebags and like stupid like dumb as fuck. I'm like, come on. Dude, let's it's it's definitely tiptoeing up to the right up to the line however i think this is just the way that she is like i don't that's I fine don't, but i won't fuck with yeah. people like that you know so i don't think she's trying to be mean in the same way that if i was trying to be mean i agree would with be that. being mean i think this is just a way of communicating that but that's my is problem negative. is like you're trying to be mean because you're playing a game and you want to get under somebody's skin. You know what I mean? Like you're not an actual mean person. I think she's right. actually a mean person. Right. It's hard to tell from an edited online game show. I'm not going to make any judgments. Uh, of on course. But this that, is yeah. from my view in what we're seeing in the game, I just, I was entertained by her before and now I'm just kind of over it. I just think that she's kind of mean and I'm ready for her to go. Sorry. I'm still I'm still entertained watching, by her. But... I can't say I'm rooting for her, but I am entertained by her in a way that I'm not entertained by everybody. So I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm entertained. I think I'm yeah, I'm not entertained by her. I also do I am I'm curious about her journey in this game. Um because I do think you're right, like after taking out Darstar, I just don't see any strategy where it makes sense to take her out. I really don't. And I don't know when that point like comes to an end where, for her. Like I really genuinely feel like after a while where you're just not targeting her, you're like, well, I can also sit next to her. Like who's going to vote for Muggsy? Um, so I feel like we're going to see her for a while. I don't know how she'll spin this into a winning game. I don't think she will. But it's like if I think gonna see her for a while. I'd rather see her be strategic and stop just like putting others down as I her game play. I don't I don't know. Was, well, my thing is she doesn't she doesn't sit and think about other people's perspectives. I know a lot of people don't either, but like for her, the way she acts is even worse. You know, it's it's more amplified when you're not looking at anyone else's point of view. You know, like just because you're saying that Tabitha is this and this and that, like you haven't heard anyone else out about Tabitha. You're only echo chambering with Darstar, who doesn't really care whether or not you're talking shit about Tabitha. So she's not looking to like learn. She's not looking to like figure out whether or not everyone else thinks the same way, or am I just jamming that shit down their throat? Like she did mm. to me that. Like that, she, I, that is what's yeah. going to cost her any type of like winning strategy. She's just not thinking about anyone else, but her. Where does this hate from still. Tabitha even come from? I don't know. That's a good question. They're both, uh, they're both uh, blonde is, is I think what Muggsy <laughs> said really, really early on. Um, also like Muggsy has not given Tabitha the same treatment that Typhon got which is sitting the person down and saying, what's your problem with me? Because it's actually not, Ooh. it wouldn't even but be it's valid. it's Muggsy's problem with Tabitha. Because it's Muggsy's problem with Tabitha. <laughs> mm -hmm. So like why, it's just weird that, you know, you bring it up at tribal like that, but like, that, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know. It's, we are quickly barreling towards a Muggsy and Susan final two because no one's ever gonna <laughs> want to get rid of them. Um, and it's, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be great. Well, we might as well talk about the person on the other side of Muggsy's, I guess, rage is Tabitha. One of you had her up, one of you had her down. What are your thoughts on Tabitha coming into the merge? I had her up um, because she seemed to easily gain the trust of multiple people so far that she wasn't voted out. Nobody listened to Muggsy or Darstar. Nobody was taking those conversations seriously. Nobody sees the things that Muggsy's saying she sees in her. Um, 
You have mm -hmm. Ashley and Mary wanting to work with her. You have them pulling in Susan to want to work with her. You have Rita and Emily wanting to work with her. Riazzo wanting to work with her. So I think right now, I mean, she's in a better spot than she has been, even though she had people gunning for her this week. That's why I put her up. And I put her down because despite that, I do think she is on paper well positioned in this game. There was a one, one minute of the game, which made me furious at the decision she was making where she like, she looks at Emily and says, Hey, Emily, I put your name out there in case I know. Play, so that yeah. if there's an idol play, you go home. Like, hey, thanks. You're my best. You're my best ally. <laughs> I made you the target just in case there's an idol. Like, yeah, I forgot. That is insanely that. Um, short sighted, I think. Yeah. Um, to, and I do think it came from a like, I genuinely want to work with you. Okay. If you genuinely want to work with this person, don't do that. Yeah. Don't, don't tell them you did that. Yeah, um, it, that's gonna bite her in the butt in the same way that um, previous decisions made by Emily are gonna bite her in the butt. We'll get that when we get to her. But like, this is I think going to be the downfall of Tabitha. You're sitting pretty, but you're just you you did too much right there, and you admitted it to the person's face. Like, mm -hmm. no, nah. I don't I don't have Tabitha up or down. I don't think I've ever had her in any of those regions because I think she's played the same this whole time. Um, I think she has like potential, but she's just. There is something missing, and it, to me, I think she's just someone who I relate to it. She definitely never wants to be the one voted out, right? So she's constantly, she's okay with people, you know, being the name. She's okay with throwing Emily on the bus. She's okay with voting out Typhon. Like, she's okay with a lot of things because it's not her, and it's a very hard strategy to play where it's like anyone but me, like the Sandra way of playing. It's like you have to make sure that you get the respect from the jury because when you when you get to the end by doing that and you had no allies that you were ever loyal to or like it's just gonna be hard to explain your game and i, I experienced that like i've won this game barely i've lost this game playing that way like it's not a game that is easy to do and i don't even know if she understands that she's playing this way because i feel like she thinks she's playing loyal but there's things like this where she's like throwing Emily on the bus and then telling Emily, like, that's not loyal. That's you just trying to save your butt in the case of someone telling Emily. Um, like, you shouldn't do certain things if you're not intending to do it. And we'll get to Emily because that's kind of the same thing. Um, but, yeah, Tabitha, to, to me, is going to be middle of the road. I don't think she'll get to the end. I don't think she will have agency in this game. Mm -hmm. I guess we might as well move on to Emily, who had a lot to say in this episode. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, so Emily, many Emily. things that she leaked to the wrong people. <laughs> like, I am astonished because she keeps having confessionals where she's like, I need to stop talking. And then she talks more. Like, yeah. I actually think she has one of the better social games in this cast. And yet she's fumbling the bag because she can't keep her mouth shut. I'm very shocked because I genuinely think heading to the merge she should be okay and right now i'm like you shouldn't have been this much lower than you are to me like you're just you're telling ashley of all people that you have an idol i just right. it's baffling um so you just never know how this game changes too so you can't always assume that just because you were offered something that somebody else is going to be offered the same thing right exactly. and then she also kind of did she not like low-key give up rita's power or the fact that she has an advantage in the conversation with them and Tabitha. If they were Tabitha paying attention, I think so. She, yeah. she says, oh, it's kind of general knowledge. Well, no, it's Not. general knowledge to you and to Ashley and to Rita. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have. I, and listen, I like Emily, mm -hmm. but this was, this was bad. And I just put her down an episode or two ago for the same reason and and no one really had a genuine reason to target you and you have given some dangerous players very valid reason to target you very valid both that the idol and that you are like i know you have something like oh my god it's so oh. and, and, and then like and then you do it again after, after you have that moment of self-reflection yeah you sit there and you go this was bad 
I shouldn't have said that. And you make the same mistake for, in my opinion, the third time this season, twice in the same episode, and, and for the third time total. Yeah. It just, oh, yeah. she she has so much potential, and it's just like making mind boggling moves that she knows are bad. So it's just very frustrating. She handled the the what's it called the the Jason thing pretty well. Like for like the most part, I think she was the best one out of like Dom and and Rita to like handle that. Like she she asked questions, but she wasn't yeah. like you know she kind of pushed you know oh Rita and Dom are close. Like she kind of put herself out of that bubble, even though she literally like explains to Ashley that there's a four. Like to me, oh she spilled all of her lines. The idol thing was one thing because like okay, well now you know that she has an idol. Spilling the core four that you're trying to be loyal to is whack. There's only, what, nine people left? Like, you just told Ashley everyone that you're going to protect. She's going to come for you. It's so crazy that she did that with Ashley. I don't get it. I don't get it. It, It's just uh, the whole thing is crazy. And, And what I saw from her that I thought was important too is like you see the paranoia like starting to really creep in where she started before tribal to be worried because uh, as soon as Tabitha's like your name's out there because of me by hi um you know Emily was like oh my god and you could in my mind see her thinking about am I gonna need to play an idol here like when you have (laughs) when you have an idol you're more paranoid and you can start to see it did she actually do anything that I think was negative because of it? No. But, like, the seeds are already there. And they're, they're going to get worse. It gets no, worse every she... round. Every round you have one, it gets they're worse. They're going to flush it soon. Her she's going to go. Her paranoia came out. Like, when Dara Star was, like, laughing, she's like, I That's, don't yeah. like, like, what are you doing? Like, you're giggling. Like, just let it be. Like, he has no power to, like, yeah. you know. I don't know. It's he a little... did, though. <laughs> but <laughs> He did, but he didn't do it. And, like. You could... You could tell she was fishing at him to admit that it was her because she was yes. like, what are you laughing about? What are you laughing? Like she was fishing at him. And yeah. like, I don't remember who else was there, but Tab- like, Tabitha walked in, which is I think why he laughed. And she, and Emily took it upon yeah. herself to think that it was about her yeah. when it's indeed about Tabitha. Cause he was about to say he wanted to target Tabitha. Yeah. And so like for Emily, like at this point, I'm glad that Darstar is gone for her game because like, I feel like she needed that to happen or else she would spiral even more. But that's that's going to be a pattern in the future. Like, I, I feel like she's going to spiral. Um, I don't think she's going to make it through the next three rounds. I don't. I think they're going to blindside her. Someone is going to take it upon themselves to blindside her. Her idol is essentially public knowledge. And it's mm-hmm. either going to be flushed or she's going to be blindsided with it in her pocket. And I think that second one's actually more likely. Meg, do you have any other thoughts on Emily? No, I just want her to do better. I really like her, and I have high hopes for her, and I'm, like, sad because I I get it, and I can, like, empathize with her so much because there's definitely been nights after chats in these games where I'm like, ah, why did I shut my mouth? Like, you just keep going, and you know you're doing it when you're doing it, and you, like, can't stop it. So I feel for her, and I definitely do not miss that, like, feeling of, paranoia that you get in these games so i just felt really bad for her this episode but it was not a good episode for her yeah i will say the ironic thing and i didn't realize this until i started editing but it made it easy to edit her the first half of the season because in her very first confessional she's like i love tight lit players i don't like watching players that be saying (laughs) too much information to other people and here we are five episodes later oh that's painful (laughs) I, I hope like, she finds a way out of it, but that has to be a thing, like a psychological thing. Like what you don't like to see is what you like are scared you'll be. And then like a lot of times you kind of play that way, you know, mm-hmm. like, I feel like that's just something she's like self-conscious about. And she's like, I, w- I would never want to do that. Like that would suck. And she does it. And she's just constantly doing it. But I do want, I do think she has potential. Like she has the social game. Like, if she just shut up, I think she actually could still do really well. She just needs to stop. Like, stop sharing before anyone else shares. Like, it was fine when you did it to Rita, kind of, and now you're doing it with people you should you should not be aligned with. It's just a mess. 
Well, next, the person on the other side of that conversation, what are your thoughts on Ashley coming into the merge here? I think Ashley wins the whole game, either her or Riazzo. They're my picks to win. Yeah. Um, I think the two of them have, are like running laps around everyone else. Um, and it's amazing to watch. But I, what I was fearing about Ashley is coming a little bit true. It, it depends on how people actually like take action about it. She's already peaking a little bit. Like she's already someone that people are scared of. People are like aware that she controlled some votes. And it's really, really dangerous to be this, um, have this much attention on you this early. So I think for her, she needs to like, she kind of did a little bit here with Dark Star. She let it happen. She wasn't like controlling it, but she needs to kind of continue that for like at least one more vote um, and just keep her allies close. Because what she does best is having individual relationships with people that make them feel like you need them. So like Mary needs her, Susan needs her, Tabitha needs her. So it's like, those are really solid connections. And I hope she needs to just, if it's not those three as a name, let it go. Let mm -hmm. anything else happen. Just like coast for just a second. You know, don't go too crazy. I just, she has a lot of heat on her. However, I, I genuinely don't know that it matters. Mm. Because you can say, oh my God, this person's really good and they're scary and they're threatening. Yeah. But if you can't get the numbers on them, who, who cares? And is Mary going to vote her anytime soon? Is Susan? No. Is Tabitha? No. Actually, Tabitha might. Tabitha will go whatever way the wind is. If it's against her, her, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I think Ashley might be the one person Tabitha's loyal to. Who knows? Um, but, and even Riazzo. Like, I genuinely think Riazzo believes his final three is, is Ashley, Tabitha, and, and him. No, um, I think you, Riazzo you think so? about, I think Riazzo mentioned people who are like doing a lot like i think he mentioned ashley and rita as the ones who did a lot or something like that i don't know if I, I might be wrong i might be throwing rita again in there but like i i swore i heard riazzo talk about the he threat. um and he riazzo we'll get to riazzo but like he's also very aware um and so i don't know if he's loyal to ashley but she does have those three women and where are we final nine eight Nine. Nine. We're so close to the point where Ashley does not get voted out. Mm -hmm. She just needs to like win this one or something. She, she had a big she, problem I mean, she, with me using the word manipulate last week. Yes, yes. She so was. I just want to make sure that I clarify. I do not mean manipulate in the way of like taking advantage of. Um, it's more like how you would like manipulate like dough or clay where you can maneuver it and change it to be what it should what you think it should be so when i say manipulate i mean just like manipulate the situation maneuver the situation she's yeah. good in those one-on-one -on -one chats um with people she's good with her words she's a quick thinker um and that's what i did not mean that to be I don't want her she's not mean manipulative no. people can be scary and mean that's not what i mean by that so she molds she molds she people molds. The there you go. She walks. um which is the same thing as manipulate but it's a different context i guess yeah. she's just, I she's not like that i'm impressed by every step she takes yeah this episode and this is something i don't know that really most people are going to be paying attention to but she gets with both Mary and Susan and makes sure that they have the same story again mm -hmm. about how that vote went down to best insulate all three of them and therefore Ashley. I like most people do not have that level of foresight and like level of carrying it out the way that she does, where she's not like dictating it to you. The level of control of the narrative is like it's it's effective. Yeah. And, like, it's not necessarily uh, not the truth. It's just making sure that the perception of the truth is the same between yeah. the people that it needs to be. And, like, the way she's so calculated about doing it is impressive. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I've literally every scene and every conversation she has, she does something to me that is impressive. Mm -hmm. And I hope she wins. I'm I a big fan. It's so bad. I want to play with her, like... Like every time I'm watching, I'm like, yeah, like that is someone that I want to like at least witness in person as a game player um, and see like what would happen, like how I would perceive her. And like, 
I don't know. She's just brilliant. And I think she still comes off unassuming, even though people are like, well, she controlled the last two votes. Like she flipped on Jason and she's, you know, like stuff like that. And yet it's like, but we still need to get her good side. Like why? Why? Like, you know, is that really the smartest move? for Emily's, family? Right. Emily's first conversation with her and Emily has told you every relevant piece of information. I don't know what it is, but congratulations. Like I'm again, just thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. Yeah. Next we'll talk about Mary. She's been in a trio before. Didn't quite work out. She now finds herself in another trio. What do you think about Mary at the merge? I think she's playing like a very decent game where if she's a, in these groups that are going to go far and the power players will start targeting each other, she can be in a final five, final four, where like one or two like flashy, like last second blind sides could be enough to get her to the end in a winning position. Do I think that that's how this is going to play out? Not necessarily, but playing a perfectly good game and like, a winning game does not need to be like Ashley's game. It doesn't yeah. need to be flashy. It doesn't need mm-hmm. to be impressive at every single round. Agreed. It's playing a decent game. I think with her being under like the protection of Ashley, I mean, I think Ashley will stay loyal to her and keep her along because she's going to be a number for her, somebody on her side. And if Ashley, I think she's going to ride those coattails. The only issue I have with Mary is people just seem to not get a read on her still. And like even someone like Susan who does trust her mentions like not knowing if she's, you know, thinking in the same thing or whatever. Like and it required Ashley to bring them together to fully be like, okay, yes, you guys are good. She wants to work with you. Right. And I think that is something that Mary needs to kind of hone in on. And I think she's also such a I think she's a, a sweetheart in the way that she just doesn't want to like make a decision for her own game by herself. Like she definitely comes off as someone who just doesn't feel like she should be selfish in any situation. Mm -hmm. And so to me, I don't know when it, like, I feel like she'll understand that Ashley is the bigger target in the duo or whatever. Right. And that she would need to cut her. And I don't think she ever would. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. Like Mary, I think Ashley felt like she had to get them in the conversation because I don't think Ashley had faith or trust in the fact that they would seek each other out. Exactly. Even though they've been, you know, talking in relative theory so, about working with each other. But I think Riazzo also really likes Mary. So if she has Riazzo and Ashley, like, I hope so. Keeping her name out of the line of fire, then she's in a pretty good spot. This is what I mean is you can get to the end with with a power player and then at the last minute just cut them and say that's my move. That's that's yeah, my that's see my her doing move. That? I don't uh, think and you doing you, that. you sit next to someone like Susan. No no offense to Susan, but like you can win. You know. Yeah. That's what I did with QA. I loved I loved being under her wing the whole time. So Didi tried to well, Didi was supposed to try and do that, but she flipped a coin. She did it. She did. <laughs> she really did. Okay. <laughs> um, no, Mary really could get to the end just by like I could honestly see a world where it's Mary, Susie, and Muggs. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think all three of them, but I genuinely would not be shocked if the I think final two. three is, is yeah. like Mary, Susan, and, and like either Ashley or Rita or Riazzo. Or Riazzo. Like yeah. That that's like my power ranking to be honest. Like if you're on it, like genuinely like winning chances, yeah. That's my top five as yeah. to like who I think has a good shot at winning. Yeah, I agree. Next we'll talk about Rita, who got sent to exile this episode, but also gets a second advantage. So how are you feeling about Rita? I mean, good for her. I, I mean, this was kind of a vote that you didn't need to be there for. Mm-hmm. And you didn't need to sort of draw blood. And, like, do you necessarily want Muggsy to be, like, an ally of yours right now? Probably not. But, like, you have a valid excuse to get information out of her since she already told you all about Tabitha's, I, I don't even, like, general demeanor. 
being <laughs> readable. Um, or she moves her eyes. She's lying. I I don't uh, understand that, but um, like I think this was good for her. Like it's fine. Your alliances still seem to be keeping you around in the conversations. You know, like exile can be a blessing. It was a good week for her to be in exile because, yes. like you said, there was she did not need to be there for this vote. Then she also is saved on Muggsy's side because she wasn't there to vote for Dar, and she got a second advantage, and she just kind of got a week off. She wasn't at risk of going home, which, you know, so. I Alex, think... you were sent to exile the, the first yeah. week of the merge in your game. Yeah. No, I, I do think going to the mer uh, going to the exile at the merge is a very beneficial thing because one you're kind of an afterthought after afterthought after the vote so when you come back it doesn't matter that you weren't there to help anyone out you you know there's all these other things happening right so now like this extra tabitha vote from susan like Rita's not someone people are going to be like, well, like, let's think about the long term game. Like, who's going to get out Rita? Like, let's do it now. Like, Rita's really in a good position because of that. And her number one ally, Emily, kind of shit the bed, like, in, in terms of like everyone's perception of them, right? So even if someone's like, let's target that, you know, we are legends group, Emily's definitely first. Dom is up there. Sue's like, there are so many factors where Rita's the last person to be targeted in that scenario. So, it's not that she didn't do anything. She's maintained her good relationships with Dom. She's, um, you know, Muggsy just seems to want to convince her so badly that Tabitha is bad news. So, like, she's not doing bad. Like, and Ashley, I think, would want to work with her rather than anyone else. So she's done a good job in that way. But also, everyone else has kind of made it so much harder for themselves that she is just in a way better position just by being in exile. She's a hit list. <laughs> she does, yes. Nobody else has a hit list. That's true. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Done. She's ready. She's Eggs. ready. The one is gone. She's the round yeah. of two. She's like, on to number two. Yeah. She didn't she... Even have to lift a hand. She wasn't even, nope, she wasn't even there. And she was Adam like, okay, there. Dart, and then Muggsy, and then what was it? Um, Susan. Susan. And, and then, then Ashley. And then, oh, Tabitha's fifth. Like, she can be fifth. Like, she can be there at the end. Like, she literally mapped it out to Dom, and Dom is perfectly okay with that because that is a great plan for Dom as well. Like, Rita had... I think she'll benefit, though, from doing Susan next instead of Muggsy. I agree, but I don't think she'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't expect a lot of adaptation from this plan, and that can be good. Or it can be the the downfall. And, and I, I do think what's going to happen is that in one of the next few votes, one of her allies, probably Emily, are going to be targeted for their mistakes telling about the idol. And um, how she handles that, either as it happens or the fallout, is going to determine the rest of her game. Muggsy mm -hmm. doesn't really have any ill will towards her either, and now she's no. going to need some allies, so I don't see any reason that Rita should do everybody else's work for them to get rid of Muggsy. Like, other Agreed. people have reason to go after her. Um, and Muggsy hates literally everybody in the game now, except Rita. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't say anything bad about her yet, so. And Susan, if Susan tells her, which is a while, are we going to that next, guys? Yeah, are we, yeah. I'm, I'm saving Susan for last. We're going to talk about Riazzo okay, next. Let's wait. I love Riazzo. I love him so much. He's my favorite. He's just a little baby. A little baby that kills? I know. He is lethal, dude. He's so I... smart, though. And it's like, I feel like he really played us all for fools in the beginning, thinking that he like, had no idea what was going on. And I, he's one of the smartest people in the game. Yeah. Playing basketball, like, not giving Jason the time of day. Like, that was a whole different Riazzo. He, like, got – he, like, had a birthday or something and turned one year older and became, like <laughs> – He this, locked in. He was dilly-dallying, and he locked in. And he has, like – he like actually running circles socially and strategically, but like Riazzo is doing the same thing, but in a way that like is even more undetected and a little bit more volatile. Cause I think Ashley, even if people start to want to target her, she's so insulated that it's hard to target Riazzo. It just takes one mistake 
that people are just like, okay, like Riazzo is with everybody. He's a floater. Get him out. So like he's dancing on that line, but he's doing it so well that like I can't imagine a world where it's either him or Ashley that wins this game. I do. I genuinely do think it's one of the two. And Riazzo is just scary. Like yeah, he's got to have clear targets though because does. I know what it's like to play a game where you try to align yourself with literally every single person there and it does not work out well if you don't have people that you're against. Like yeah. you have to have targets. Yeah. And you can't be friends with everyone. So Yeah. He had a target. The target was Darstar because I know, Darstar he, was I, saying, "We got a problem." And that was that. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, like, but who's it now? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Like, here's Darcy the thing. Was great. <laughs> we do have a problem. It's Riazzo. Mm -hmm. Um, I said many episodes ago, I wanted to see someone who was struggling with the format adapt, and Riazzo has adapted and is thriving. Thriving. Um, like top three contender to win the whole kick and bang caboodle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's, he is really brilliant. I am curious about his actual boot order. Like, you know, Rita's giving us her list. I want to see Riazzo's list because I think he's the only player that you can't predict what his boot order list is. Yeah, Besides and he won't tell us, even in his confessional. He, he was won't. like, I'm not going to say it. Why the fuck what? not? This is he, your has, he wants us to be along for the ride. He doesn't want oh, us to It's his strength life. as much as it's a weakness. Like, you need to be able to adapt. And yeah. if, my, if your heart is like, if you're laser focused on Muggsy, you're gonna miss the giant blindside coalition forming yeah. on the other side of, of the of the house or yeah. the island. And, and so I'm telling you, it, it's a strength. As I will say, I've never, annoying. I've never played a game where I had a exact boot order. I never cared because to me, it's all about how to get yourself to the end, not about like who you need to get out. Like, sure, you can have targets, but like. You don't need to have the Rita. Well, okay, I'm not gonna. This is not shady. Uh oh, Rita, come for Alex again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't have. I don't play that way, and I, I, I think it can benefit someone who has that way because it's very like clear for them. But to me, when that happens and then something goes astray, if you're just dead set on that plan, what happens after that when something goes wrong? You know, like for me, I. I hate boot orders because I think it can't that, – that's just not how the game works for me because you have to constantly adapt. Each round is different. Like, Ashley could be the target next round because of how many people are talking about her. You never know. Um, so, yeah, but if you're a good enough player, then it won't go wrong because you can move people around and – and get them to vote the way that you want to, or you have the ability to see Agreed. this whole path laid out. I don't have that ability. I have – I can't see what's going to happen tomorrow in these games. So <laughs> I can't make, I can't look ahead and make moves like that. So if she can, that's great. Yeah. That leaves us Susan, who we want the entire episode, barely talking about her. Unlike last week, the whole podcast <laughs> was about Susan. Basically. I think both Alex and Mike had her up. Meg, you're gonna have to play the role of Aspen because you had her down. So what are your <laughs> thoughts on Susan? I I understand her mindset in wanting to vote Tabitha because she knew, A, it wasn't going to change the vote, Tabitha wasn't going to go home, and B, then she can show this scary player like Muggsy some, you know, alliance, but it was unnecessary. She doesn't, Muggs, she doesn't need Muggsy to, like, like her. You know, she's already in a good spot with Ashley and Mary, and she should have stayed on the vote with her teammates and her alliance and she didn't. And this is the second time now that she hasn't because she turned her back on Jason, even though he was coming from her, for her, but she's already still in the middle of trying to clean up that mess. And now she's created another one and it's not going to be difficult to figure out that she was that third vote. She's going to cause confusion, but they're going to figure it out. Are they? Are they? Are they? I hope not, because I'm pretty obsessed with the idea that Susan is just like this little gremlin that like is like causing chaos for no reason. And it's there's a reason. 
This is calculated. This is the most calculated thing she's done all game. That's why she's up for me. She, she didn't do it to cause chaos. She did it to right. get on Muggsy's good side. She doesn't realize that it's causing chaos. But she's she not just got two truth. jury votes. I'm just saying. She might get the two, two jury votes. Jury and votes. she's probably not telling the truth about the fact that she's the one who did it. So, like, in, in, in the end of the day, she is basically causing the chaos by not admitting to it. And the reason why she's up for me is because I haven't seen the selfish game bot of her where she's trying to make decisions for herself. This is, even if it's like a weird, interesting one that's not like I'm not like completely sold on, he's at least like, oh, I want jury votes. Like, let me do this to try to appease Muggsy and 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 try to get on the good side. That's at least thinking yeah. about the game. And I will give her it up when she's up in that way. And I think. How about I just feel like you're not in a position to be worried about jury votes if you're not going to make it past next week. She's going to make it past next week. This is the this is the I took a calculated risk, but boy, am I bad at math. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, I don't know. Like, I'm just a huge fan of people who throw votes. I really genuinely think it is a good strategy, especially in this very specific format. Where you're not a fan of people who throw votes. Yeah, I love people who throw votes. <laughs> well, oh, not, um, not when you're in the game, maybe. No, no, no. Hear me out, all right? Like, it, you don't see people's handwriting, so you can't even go, oh, yeah, mine's the one with the, the big underline under it. Like, it's all hidden. And I you can just look, you can just so look at someone and go, yeah, no, I, I didn't vote for you. Why would I vote for you? Like, I didn't like Darth Star. And then, I, like, when you're in the final two, you go, hey, I threw that vote, and you guys all voted, um, you guys all voted Dom out because you thought it was Dom. So, uh, you know, look at that master move. I've thrown so many road votes in my life. And it, it's I never apologize. It's the fun, it's the best thing to do because especially when it's just like there's no reason to do it. Like that's why I'm like, I was hoping for Susan to be like, I want a jury vote. And also I just want chaos. Cause like that is not a bad strategy for someone like Susan, who already is someone that people are like, like they don't care about except for like Ashley and Mary, really. But they also won't target right now. So, like, if this chaos makes it even more confusing on what power player is trying to do this, I really hope that she doesn't get clocked. If she does, then I do think she's gone. But if she doesn't, it's, like, a really interesting, smart-ish move for some reason. She gets I just clocked. think she needs to not tell Muggsy. That's the yeah, key to success here. Mm-hmm. Don't but tell Muggsy. she's going to. Don't tell Muggsy. Tell Please. Muggsy when she's on the jury and you're pleading for the votes. Um, but... We don't know that that's what she is going to do. So for that reason, like, I love, I actually think it's a great move. Susan's very specific game is benefited the most by, like, the more chaos there is in the game, the less time you have to target someone like Susan. Yes. Sure. The less time you have to worry about Susan when you're worried about, like, it, who's masterminding this, like, weird, like, who's secretly with them. That's that's yeah. just, I think it's a great move. And, like, if it's executed well next week. I love when the merge was announced, though, and she was like, oh, I'll play in the next challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Oh, that made me laugh. So iconic. Well, like, entertaining game-wise, she is, I think, the most entertaining. It's not Muggsy. That's not entertaining gameplay. It's Susan. Susan is the star. Like, Susan just randomly pops up and does the weirdest shit. It's like, also, like, she doesn't know Tabitha. She doesn't know Muggsy. She doesn't know Darstar. So, like, I don't think someone's going to be like, oh, she voted for Tabitha. Like, there's no reason to do that. Like, you know, like, it, it would be more likely that, like, that pins on Ashley or something. Or not Ashley, um, someone like uh, Emily or something. Where it's just like, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense for her to do it. We'll see what happens. If she can pin it on Dom, that would be her best. Dom, that would be, Dom would be the smartest move because Dom yeah. doesn't know Tabitha. I don't think they've spoken yes. one-on-one Correct. ever. Um, not that Susan would 100% know that, but he said something to that effect in, in somewhere, I think. It might have been the chat with Riazzo, Dom, and Darstar, so it might not be relevant, but um, I, I, I liked it. I thought it was a good move. Yeah. Well, that's everybody. Any final thoughts? Any predictions for next week? What's the challenge? Yeah, what's the challenge? Next week is the challenge I was talking about last week with the whole it's uh, the distance between cities trivia, which one's further away. The funniest outcome is Muggsy winning the challenge. Don't think um, 
I think the delusion will not allow her to know anything outside of New York. I think it's, it's crazy. crazy. Sorry, I, I not to be mean, but I just don't see it. Uh, Mary maybe could be the winner of this. It's, maybe it's Ashley, tough to say. Maybe I don't Ashley know who's going to get it. It's just like someone I, who is general, like someone who knows general knowledge about like geography and has enough of a sense to be like, oh, it's this far. Like so, maybe someone who travels more. Um, what cities? Uh, cities all over the world. It's most of the U.S. and Canada because. There's some Canadians in the game. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm back actually to what I said last week. It's funniest is actually Tabitha winning and Muggsy having to reckon with Tabitha <laughs> winning like a like a brainy challenge. And just like yeah. I just want to see it. I just want to see it. Um so I'm really imagine be like, oh well, it was all those Canadians. <laughs> it's all the Canadian cities. <laughs> 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 Toronto and Montreal. Uh, Toronto, is that her name? That's why she won. Toronto! <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name. She should not Tabitha be Tabitha is not that name. difficult of a name. It just, it's irritating. It's intentional. Me. Like, that is it's just, like, It's intentional. She's weird, oh, I like, it. I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I don't like bullies. She's a bully. I don't know who's going out tomorrow. Not tomorrow, next week. I really don't. I, I can see it being... I don't know. Maybe it's just Muggsy. Muggsy. I think if it is Muggsy, I'm seriously locking in the fact that um, Susan and Mary are in the final three, probably with Ashley, maybe with Riazzo. Like, yeah. just straight up, like, if that's what happens, I don't see any other way this, this goes. Yeah. I mean, it's either the somehow the Rita, Emily, Dom, which is, like, falling every... Like, if Jason was still in the game, maybe... Um, but right now, that is correct. I really do think like a Mary Susan slash Ashley or Riazzo is the final. But we'll see. All right. That is all for this week. I want to thank you all for joining me per usual. And hopefully there's still more comments from the players. Yes, keep going. <laughs> all right. Thank you.